Hey, it's a special edition of Tales from the Truck Stop. This is a place where we make fun of the dumb stuff we see in the truck stop. All right, so if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. All right, it helps us get us out there, all right? All right, or share this. Share this video to your mom, your dad, your sister, your uncle, your preacher, everyone, safety department. And if you got videos and pictures you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. That's our email address, okay? So uh, we got Johnny Mac. He is a fan favorite, but a bonehead hated, I guess you could say. Uh, the boneheads don't like him. But uh, so uh, go check this guy out. Here we go. Right, yeah, bonehead truckers. So we got a bonehead trucker. Let's take a look at this. So we got that guy right there. That, that guy came from the pump aisle. Drove all the way around. Almost hit a car when he was pulling along this fence here. Parked it. Grabbed a shower bag. Went in. He's going to take a shower. Now there's that bus in that line where he's parked. So when the bus pulls forward, it's going to stop right in front of him. So if this place was busy right now, that one line couldn't get out. What a bonehead. What is it? Curtex Logistics? What's his truck number? Uh, 6761 MCH Curtex You are an absolute bonehead who couldn't park it in any one of these million spots over there and there's another whole three rows behind that. Couldn't park it over there, but had to park it along the fence. So nobody can get out in that first aisle and go take your shower. The fuel lines really aren't busy, so I'm sitting here, I'm watching this Pertex Logistics MHC here, right? So the bus pulled up, he got fuel. The guy just went in. Now watch, he's got to pull out, but he has to pull out and he has to drive into that second line's lane. Watch, see, here he goes, got to drive around him. Yep, so now if that truck had pulled forward, Crosswell bus wouldn't have been able to get out. No, oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, well, fuels aren't, aren't busy. So I got fuel. Yeah, I went in and got a cheeseburger and soda water. Coke, actually. And, uh, yeah, I was gonna go park it over there, but then I saw this thing happen. And I saw that. I figured, you know what? If nobody pulls up behind me, I'll sit here. And then I'll pull forward and I'll ask this guy. I'll say, hey, did you get a cold shower? He'll probably say no. Say, oh, you didn't want to get wet by the rain. Is that why you parked like an idiot right there, walking the fuel aisles? I'm going to ask him. Anyway, that's pretty much the size of it. I got to ask him why he did that. Is it, you didn't want to get wet by the rain because there's all this parking all over there. But he had to pull up right there and park right there because he didn't want to walk in the rain. Yep. Curtex, you're a bonehead. You're blocking fuel aisles in the wrong direction. <laughs> I hope I catch you on film, I really do. I don't want to wait too much longer, but uh, we'll see. You better hurry up. There's a tow truck hooking up to your truck. Yeah, you can't park in that. You're blocking the exit on the fuel aisles. You're blocking the exit on the fuel aisle. Do, you parked along the fence right there. You're Curtex, right? Yes. Yeah, so the tow truck's taking your truck right now. Yeah, but I'm getting you on film because you're an idiot. You're a bonehead trucker. You better move. You got to move your truck now. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Go. I, I didn't want to walk in the ring, so I parked along the fence, blocking the trucks that going to go out. 
because I don't speak any English. I'm sorry, sir. He, that's what he says. He's, I'm sorry, sir. But that's, that's a bonehead trucker right there. Anyway. Anyway. I had to bring that to Ike. I, I, I had to, I had to get, put that for bonehead truckers because I haven't done a video in a long time. And I think that's pretty funny that uh, we got to get to that guy and get him out of the shower. So he can move his truck and and lie to him that it's being towed right now. Too bad it really wasn't being towed, cause he doesn't belong there. He really doesn't belong there. There he is. <laughs> so I did. I went inside. I went inside and talked to them. And uh, yeah, he was in that shower. I had a knock on his door. I tell him all that crap. But look, I mean that that's. That's a fuel aisle, so if these trucks pull forward, and the truck pulling there can't get out. I'm sorry. I don't speak English. I don't know my name, too. I, I, I just didn't want to walk in the rain. So, I went in, I took a shower. And then, uh, I wait for them. <laughs> you, you can't make this up. All right, there, bonehead truckers, trucking with Johnny Mac. Anyway, so we got a lot of good, cool comments. We got a lot of idiot comments. We got a lot of comments that, hey, you're Johnny, you're just doing the same, sitting at the fuel aisle. Well, let's see. Place wasn't all that busy, right? There was about 15 fuel aisles. I was in lane number four. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They were, they were empty. Whatever. Uh, about one, two, and three were pretty busy. You know, you could see that tank of truck in the beginning. He was pulled right up to the front of that truck, but he was two aisles over, and there were a couple other trucks on my left that were in those fuel aisles in the bus. So it's not that, yeah, I sat in the fuel aisle because there was nobody behind me. If there was someone behind me and it was really busy, I would have pulled right out of there. Um, but I had time. Yeah, I did. I sat there. I ate my cheeseburger and soda water. And I filmed that. And uh, when the bus pulled up and that other truck was, in, uh, the take a truck was in front. Okay. Hey, you know what? Make another video. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should go in. Because I know he went in and, and grabbed the shower. Let me go in and, and, and just knock on his door and fuck with him. Because, you know, it's the point is, is to point out these boneheads that do this stupid shit. And they do this stupid shit during busy times. Right, uh, it wasn't busy at all, but whether there was plenty of room for another truck or that bus, you saw the bus had to come up and then go into the other lane and then, and then get out, right? But if it was busy, the bonehead would have done the same thing anyway during busy times. They do that during busy times. Yeah, hell, you know, they take their 10 hour break in the fuel aisle. So we're just trying to point it out and at the same time, we're trying to have some entertainment too, right? A little bit of entertainment, a little bit of fun without causing any major problems. Oh my God. <laughs> and you guys making these comments are funny, man. You're like, oh yeah, it's all my fault. It's my fault on what that guy did. So it got nothing to do with me. You know, I was absolutely fine. Um, and if I was hindering anybody from getting fuel or doing anything, I would have moved immediately. Um, but that guy didn't care. He just pulled up. He parked right there. And that was that. So we just want to expose what's going on out there. That's the whole point of bonehead truckers. People doing bonehead stupid, you know, and fill other people's days up. That's pretty much it. Uh, but I don't know if you guys uh, that are making all these comments, because I just posted these videos and all these comments pop up. I mean, you guys sit there and, uh, and like monitor this stuff and you're trolls, and you gotta, you gotta put down the person making videos and stuff like that. I mean, every one of the videos that expose anything that's going on, um, you trolls out there are like instantly ready to blame the person filming. Oh, you're driving and filming. Oh, you're sitting at the fuel line. Oh, you're doing this. Oh, you're doing that. It ain't that person's fault. But when it happens to you, and you happen to be the one who's getting inconvenienced because of a bonehead truck driver, well then, you know what? It's, you know, you deserve it. You deserve it. But we're just trying to bring it to you in some sort of funny way, if we can. 
if it's, you know, stupid funny, right? So, so that's it. I mean, other, other stuff is, you know, it's all bonehead stuff, you know? Um, if you catch me doing a bonehead thing, hey, film it, put it up there. I'll be, I'll be the first to say, yep, I did. I pulled a bonehead move, right? Um, so that's it. Uh, it goes both ways. Uh, but I wouldn't do something like that. I wouldn't pull up purposely like that and right in front of that yellow line where all the trucks pull up. So he was right there, right at that yellow line where you pull up. Um, and that's that. I, you, you just don't do that. And so that's why I brought it to the attention to the bonehead trucking family. See ya. What happens when you have a Blue Tiger Elite Plus with a Blue Tiger Storm? What happens when these two get combined? You have the Blue Tiger Ultimate two-in-one. Now this thing is extremely comfortable. The music plays really good. The phone calls are awesome. Oh my gosh, it's like putting pillows on my head. The other side comes off and it becomes a legal headset. This is probably the best headset. And listen, I've had the Elites, I've had the Elite Pluses, I've had the Blue Tiger Storms, I had the Solar, and so far, this is the best headset. Link is in the description, 10% off. Put in the discount code, make sure you get that 10% off. It supports us here on the channel.